put it put that one on my special because it was it was really distressing going back to the original one after having one of these on there. <coughs> stuff I did on that special, I mean, Mudbone talks about it, he's like, hey man, shut up, it's ruined my video. <laughs> <laughs> no, keep talking. I have no idea where we're going. I'm listening to the more, uh, the New Zealand chick. We're going back the same way we came. <laughs> sort of. Is this uh, engine mostly stock or is it's it? It's all stock, yeah. Is it? It's uh, uh, honestly though, it's an unknown uh, rebuild quality. We know something was done to it, but uh, very you've, had, you've had to redo about it. Sure, you know. sounds good. Yeah, the, the well, I've got a, I got a, an original, a new old stock from the '60s glass pack muffler. Oh, okay. I was going to say that sure's surely not a stock jig muffler on there. <laughs> the coolest thing is, is it fit exactly how it was supposed to. Really? Yeah. Because uh, it was meant for a 55 year. Right. It was right. really got a little offset to the thing. Yeah. I had, yep. I, had, I think was that a thrush brand or no? It was a. It was a weird. It was an off brand thing. It was something I had never seen. But it, like it sounded like my old special cord at the end. I had an old yeah. thrush muffler from. Center. One of those uh, cars I parted out had a brand spanking new full-size Buick muffler on it. It wasn't a Buick brand, but it was like an aftermarket, but it was a full-size, full-length, and it's in perfect condition. It's not even rusty except where the clamps go. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah that MJ exhaust that you get those things for you. Yeah. So in uh, Michigan, I mean, they're really nice. It's too. quiet. I mean, I pet it on there when I ran my engine on the stand, and it's just like amazing how quiet it is. It was, uh, it's amazing how many uh, you know 55s come in my shop, and they have the little dinky Midas right. muffler on there with a bunch of stuff right. on both sides. 